Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Magic Trick. Today we are doing the data visualizer. So, what is the data visualizer? Why we use data visualizer add-ins in Excel? So, data visualizer add-in for Excel is a new way to create a data-driven, high-quality piece of flowcharts and gross function of flowcharts. Okay. So, uh, data visualizer is basically used for creating the flowcharts. So, if you are looking for some data flow chart, if you are looking for the hierarchy, you can create with that help uh, add in data visualizer. Okay. So, let's see a few example in Excel uh, for the data visualizer. So, this is an example of the data visualizer. So, we have one data and uh, this is my data. Uh, this is my uh, flow chart. Then let's suppose in the director I am writing my name Saurav Sharma. Now, see here they automatically you need to refresh it, uh, it's not uh, which is automatic, you need to refresh. Now see here, uh, the Saurabh Sharma is a director and then we have the, you, uh, my uh, managing director content on, uh, so everything will be here, the hierarchy, okay. So same, uh, we, uh, we are creating here, uh, one flowchart, okay. So how to create it, you need to go insert tab and you need to add the add-in, okay. That add-ins you need to uh, click here. That add-ins then. So my uh, add-in is already added. Uh, so I'm showing you how to add it. Okay. Uh, so you now you here you need to uh, write data visualizer. Okay. So I added data visualizer. Now search. Okay. It's a free one. It's not the charge. Okay. It's a free one, you need to click here the add. My uh, data visualizer tool is already added, that's the reason I'm not adding. You need to click here add, then your data visualizer will be added. See here, my data visualizer is added. Okay, you need to click here. Okay, now they are showing first window to log in. Okay, now they're showing you uh, continue without sign in. Uh, I'm saying yes. Now we have three types of flowcharts is available. First is basic flowchart, then we have the cross function flowchart, then we have the organization flowchart. First we are creating here the basic flow of diagram. So in the basic flowchart we have the quick start, horizontal, vertical or the hierarchy. So I am using the first one that Q, uh, quick start. So what is a quick start? They now see here automatically data will be coming. Okay, you need, you doesn't need to put data. Uh, sorry, greater data. Now, uh, if you are looking for the change, you can change it. Okay, let's suppose in the start, I am writing here uh, the. You can do anything. Let's suppose my start uh, with the uh, with the uh, the in the Excel, I am starting with the the functions. Okay, I am writing here functions. After the functions, what we have uh, the decision. In the functions, we have multiple functions. So, uh, functions or the function or or you can say uh, the tool. Okay, uh, you are using the function or the tool. Okay. Now, if you refresh it, now see here your data will be changed. Okay. Function or tool. First is function. Now you are using function or tool. If yes, go to the function. Function okay, else go or tool okay. Now, see here if we refresh it, your uh, data will be changed according to, the, according to the changes. Okay, uh, you doesn't need to write a data, okay. You need to first create that data and uh, create that uh, visualize uh, chart, hierarchy chart. Then, you need to edit data here only. Okay, you need to edit it. Next, we are looking for one more chart. I am going to give an example of one more chart here. So, I am creating here uh, the second chart of the hierarchy because this is very important. If we are working on the uh, environment in any organization, we need that organization chart uh, for presentation. Okay, we have the big chart, vertical, horizontal. I am using this one. The, okay, now I click on this one. Now, see here automatically chart. Uh, my flow chart is created and data also here. Okay, so in the data, let's suppose uh, first ID one. You need to put here ID also. You need to put it. Okay, now 
So I'm putting the ID that's equal to one, and in the director I'm writing my name Saurabh Sharma. Okay. My managing director is Ashur. Okay. Now if I refresh it, now see here uh, your data will be automatically changed. Okay. Now this uh, giving you error because ID one, ID two is here. So again, I need to change all that to chart. Now see here my data is changed. So I'm showing the third. Next is banking and the cultural reserve. Next we have all this. So, so you need to change only the data after the visualization is uh, after the visualization. Okay. So it's very important tool when we need uh, some flow charts, then we are using that data visualizer. Okay. So uh, it's at least important when uh, we need that uh, flow charts or we need that uh, process flow charts. Okay. This is for the process flow chart. So guys, thank you so much uh, and please like and subscribe.